So I wanted to do a video about how I set up the home reserve couch. I felt like every video I ever looked at on YouTube or on their website didn't exactly portray and show everything that I was really interested in as far as this couch. The company offers a 30-day risk-free trial period where you order an armless, you put it together, sit in it, put it in your house, see how you like it. I got the Brooks style sectional because I liked how the back cushion folded over the top to keep it in place. My color couch is called Maltese Copper. They have so many different types of fabrics and colors to choose from. I got three armless and four ottomans to put together. If you want to see me put together this in real time, that will be at the end of this time lapse. Here we are putting together an armless and Jovi arm rest. You can easily mix and match these styles at no extra cost. Just make sure to call their customer service in order to order that. The instructions were really easy to follow. Everything was very simple to put together. Nothing that required a lot of brain power. Here we are setting up the ottomans. These have the largest storage out of every piece of furniture, which wasn't on their website and I was kind of upset about that. In this time lapse, I am doing this one by myself as David is setting up one next to me. This just shows how easy it is to do it with one person. I mean, definitely two people is awesome, but it is totally possible with one person without exerting yourself. Definitely have a drill and a rubber mallet on hand. Some of these pieces had a hard time going together and just gently tapping them in made all the difference. Now that the frame is together, it's just time to put the slip cover on. It's like a fitted sheet. Make sure that the two short corners are going where the short corners are because in the you can see that I didn't and I had to take it off. But as you can also see, it wasn't that hard. So yeah, this is very easy, user friendly. It didn't take a lot of effort to put the slip cover on. And this is where I'm gonna put the bottom boards in for the storage. So you, I don't know if you can see in this video, but the struggle in getting this in there is real. This was one of the hardest parts of the whole ottoman was getting the cushion in. And then next you slide that board in to give it the support. And boom, done. With the modular ottomans lined up against it, it makes a full size bed. I love how I can add on more couch if I want to, which I probably will later on. So the bottom cushions just sort of sit there and that's why they're easily removable to access your bottom storage. The top cushions bottom is sort of U-shaped as you can kind of tell and that's how they sort of sit in place as well. But that's why I bought the Brooks version is I really wanted those back cushions to for sure stay in place. Since you have to slip all the slips on, it's very easy to slip them off so that you can wash them. Yeah, baby. This is my favorite part, how easy it is to get into that ottoman storage. All right, this next part is going to be the real time of me putting together this armless. If you're not interested in that, no worries. But make sure you all like, subscribe for any DIYs, furniture flips, and power tool tips. This is where I learned it's probably best to not open it on its side, but to lay it down because, yeah, all this stuff kind of comes crashing out. Next, in the instructions, it says to put the feet on the bottom and then the T-joints where they need to go. It basically is the anchor points for the screws, so that's what I'm doing right here. So it takes me about 30 minutes to assemble this entire thing. I did decide to just speed it up a little bit, making sure that it's not too fast and you can still see exactly what I'm doing and get an idea of how long it takes me to do it. This 
This is the part where you definitely need a rubber mallet just to help tap these pieces in. And now it was time for me to assemble the back. This helps give it the structure, so the rest of it after this is pretty easy. Definitely have your drill on a lower setting. Mine was at 16. It helps stop it from over tightening and you could potentially split or break the T-joint. This bottom piece is only held in by the tension between the other two pieces, so that's why it's important to put that one in next. And this is where I noticed it was off center and it was going to bug me, so I fixed it. I will say with the Brooks style sectional that the curve and getting that cover over the curve is a bit tedious, but to me it's ultimately worth it. I mean, how many times am I going to have to take this off? Maybe once a month. So if you're one that just wants an easy slip on, then maybe don't get the Brooks sectional.
and that's it that's the whole couch i absolutely love this couch if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments i'm willing to answer anything i hope you have a great day